It is Wednesday. It's the 21st of August. I'm Monita Rajpal. This is CNN News Center, live from Hong Kong, making news today. Syrian opposition sources are accusing the government of using chemical weapons in the past few hours. The government is denying the claim via the state-run news service. A doctor at a field hospital has told CNN that he's seen around 200 people with symptoms similar to a chemical weapons attack. CNN's Ara Damon is monitoring the situation there in uh, Syria. She joins us now from Beirut. Uh, and uh, Ara, before we, we say anything, we should warn our viewers that the vid video we'll be showing it, some of our viewers may find graphic. They most certainly are disturbing images that are emerging out of Syria today. Right. Arwa, thank you. Arwa Damon there live for us from Beirut. Japan is expected to step up the danger warning in force for a radioactive leak at the Fukushima power station. The alert will be raised to level three, and that's the highest there's been since uh, three reactors melted down after the tsunami of 2011. The company that runs the plant says a container that's leaking contaminated water could be emptied in the next few hours. Former uh, nuclear power plant operator Michael Freeland, Freelander is speaking with uh, CNN's Pauline Chu. Police in the United States have charged three teenagers with the murder of an Australian college baseball player. Authorities say 23-year-old Christopher Lane was gunned down from behind while jogging in an affluent town in the state of Oklahoma. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. The Matt, you are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. I'm Onita Rajpal. Bribery, corruption, abuse of power. These are the charges leveled against the former Chinese politician Bo Zhilai in a trial scheduled to start tomorrow, Thursday. He was once a, a powerful Communist Party leader, and his fall has the world watching to see how China handles his trial. His supporters say it's a chance to prove his innocence, as CNN's David McKenzie explains. On steamy summer nights in Chongqing. Some of the other stories we're following for you here at uh, CNN News Center. Security forces in Pakistan say they've seized more than 100 tons of bomb making material from a warehouse in Quetta. Authorities say 10 people were arrested in the raid in one of the country's most violent cities. $6.7 billion in aid for Egypt is what's at stake, but now that's all up in the air as EU foreign ministers hold urgent talks in Brussels. The EU had promised that money before the latest violence erupted, but since last Wednesday, nearly 1,000 people have died in fighting between security forces and anti-government protesters. U.S. Army intelligence analyst Bradley Manning will likely find out today how long he'll serve in prison for passing classified information to WikiLeaks. The prosecution is asking for a 60-year sentence. Manning's lawyers haven't specified how long they'd prefer, but say he should not be left to, quote, rot in jail. The partner of a British journalist detained at London's Heathrow Airport for nine hours is suing the British government and police. Lawyers for David Miranda have filed suit saying his interrogation was unlawful. British officials have defended it as legally sound. Atika Schubert is following the developments in the story. She joins us now live from London uh, with more on that. So what is the kind, what are the arguments that are being based on how legally sound this detention uh, was? Well, the important thing is that he was detained for nine hours under Schedule 7 of the Terrorism Act. And according to David Miranda's lawyers, they say this is an abuse of that law. In fact, this is the letter that they sent. Uh, All right. Uh, Atika, thank you. Atika Schubert there, live from the High Court in London. Monsoon rain, described as uh, relentless, continues to fall in the Philippines. And some are calling it uh, the heaviest rain they've ever seen. Our meteorologist, Maya Ramos, is watching it all from the World Weather Center for us uh, with more on what kind of uh, reprieve, if any, they could get. Mari? You know, Monita, this may very well may be the heaviest rain anyone there has ever seen. They're comparing this already. Uh, Mari, thank you. Sure. You're watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. He CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Now, most people in the developed world take the Internet pretty much for granted. But according to the World Bank, more than 4.5 billion of the 7 billion people on Earth don't have the ability to get online. Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg wants to change that. In an exclusive interview with CNN's Chris Cuomo, the 29-year-old billionaire talks about his ambitious project to change the world. 
When you visit the Facebook campus, you get the sense that anything is possible. We want you. You're doing great. Good luck with everything. You're watching CNN News Center. I'm Monita Rajpal, live at CNN Hong Kong. Thank you for joining us. I'll update you the top stories in just a couple.